this is driving me bonkers. I'm sure there's a logical explanation, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So maybe some of you geniuses can help me. I'm playing this project, which you can't hear. And um, it just like maxes out all of my threads until I take the buffer size down, 256, right? That's like a, a quarter of what it was. And then my threads go back to normal. I, this is the kind of thing that drives me crazy. You know, perfectly honest with you all. This is the first time I've had to raise my buffer size up to, well, I didn't have to. I raised it up because I was doing a, an Atmos demonstration in uh, class the other day. And uh, then I just left it up there. And then I came in to work on this project. And every time I'd get about 30 seconds in, it just like... Cur it just like kind of crashes it like sounds like it's distorting it keeps playing it never stops but it gets crazy town and then um i was like what is going on i was like is my hard drive filling up am i running out of ram you know what is the problem here i open up my uh monitor my activity to monitor in os 10 and nothing's there i mean logic is definitely taking up a lot of cpu and when it starts going into the crackle mode it, it gets uh it definitely spikes in there but never in a thousand years would i assume that it's because my buffer size was too high usually when you change your buffer size it actually frees up some processing and you can actually do more so I recommend to students, you know, when you're mixing, if you're on a limited system, raise the buffer size. It'll give you that little bit of extra room. If when you're recording, you want to lower the buffer size so that you have less latency. But on the M1, which I'm working on, that highest buffer size seems to not work. Um, certainly doesn't give me more processing. Whatever it's doing, it's a, it's like a leak. And so it's it's going crazy. Never once did I imagine I'd be making a video that says I'm having problems at 1024 that are fixed by moving this to 256 or below. In fact, let's just do this real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure with this project, I can take it down to 32. I'm not positive um, because it, it does have a few things in here, but uh, let's see if it'll play back. What the uh, the drive I/O pops up because it's reloading all of the the samples and things. Uh, and you'll hear this a little bit of bleed through my headphones, but that's it. Yeah, it plays great. Okay, let's chalk this up to uh, one of those amazing things that we experience in logic sometimes called. Uh, stupidity or a mistake or a bug or just epic fail for sure i uh, hope you're having a great week uh, i'd love to know is anyone else having this particular bug in any pre previous versions of logic i i don't think i've ever experienced this before so i'm assuming it's 10.7.4 I, mean, I i'm assuming but i don't know T test it out see if anyone else is having this issue um, talk to you later.